Hi everyone, my name is Anna Anders Humbly here on this YouTube channel. And today is Wednesday, July 8th, and I'm shooting a YouTube video um, because I was inspired to shoot this YouTube video. Anyways, and I need to shoot my YouTube videos anyways to catch up on all, all that's been happening and manifesting in our world today. And so as an activist, an activist, uh, what they generally do is they activate the truth. And especially when we've been lied to, and especially especially when we've been messed with, and um, I don't know, just given misinformation, misinformation, disinformation, and uh, misled as well. So I'm humbly Anna Anders, one of the many founders of ForGlobalPeace.com, um, and I say that because there's been many founders of ForGlobalPeace.com that has inspired me to. Um, I'm going to take my hat off to uh, to pursue this passion of mine that I have and to sp pursue the spiritual calling that I have as well. And I got to tell you guys, um, it's not been the easiest uh, pursuit. You know, and I think of that movie with Will Smith, The Pursuit of Happiness and all the shit that he had to go through in that movie. So it's kind of like the same thing, but only it's been a different kind of a ride. And I mean way. I have so many more stories that I could add to that that story that's not even funny. Um, and it's not about money either for this lady. So just so you know, I want to say that right off the bat. Never has been about money. It's been about what I have found along the road of life, my soul sacred life of recovery and not unrecovery. And I say that because I come from a soul uh, disturbed dysfunctional, alcoholic family on both sides of my family tree, my mom's side and my dad's side. So when my mom and dad met together, they wouldn't know it, but um, they both came from alcoholic families, both sides. So, um, and my grandfather on my dad's side, he had 38 kids, and that gives you an example of the dysfunction. And he was a full-blown alcoholic back in the days when they didn't really have Spanish AA meetings for the uh, Spanish culture, if you will. And so my grandfather was very much discriminated upon and thrown into the psych wards because of his alcoholism. But I know this today coming out of, uh, I'm going to say coming out of the rubble, okay, and out of the dysfunction uh, and the hurts and the harms of my uh, so sacred family tree of the family disease of alcoholism. Anyways, that is what has so inspired me to uh, to this day forward of July 8th, 2020. So, and in 2020, I, I have a hard time seeing with my eyes, but I can see. I can see what's happening entirely um, in my soul sacred family tree. I can see what's happening and what's not happening still today. So a lot of unrecovery still today, and I'm on social media uh, to really use the social media platforms for political uh, happenings and what's really truly happening in our world. But I also use my uh, social media platform for healing issues and healing agendas and to uh, bring forth that truth for our soul sacred family uh, trees, if you will. So and I think that's so important today, uh, especially today in these times when we don't have um, real genuine venues uh, for truth to manifest and to be able to sift and sort through that stuff. And especially when it comes to hidden agendas. And when I'm talking about hidden agendas, I'm not talking about hidden agenda and hidden agendas of um, necessarily individual people, but more of a collective uh, globalist agendas that have been manifesting manifesting throughout the course of history. And I want to specifically say throughout the course of naughty Illuminati history. So within that history, they, we have the contents of art, fashion, entertainment, music, uh, movies, Disneyland, Disney World, all of that uh, that has manifested up and out of that em that empire of entertainment, if you will, from New York to Florida to Los Angeles to Texas to to every uh, probably pretty much every continent on the planet, pretty much because the media moguls made that manifest. Okay, but the funny thing is they didn't make the truth manifest with those uh, media uh, with the media technology. Uh, that it could have, you know, but they didn't use it for that. They used it for to mislead the the global the global population and to misfeed and to indoctrinate us with their mis agendas and their um, uh, 
misinformation and disinformation to meet their needs as globalist elite um, empire ones did. So, And I want to call them evil because they're evil. Because that's where your Jeffrey Epstein's and your Weinstein's and your Ario Castro type uh, manifested up and out of. So it's not, it's not, uh, let me say this. It is a fact. It is a fact that you can go to any street corner pretty much in the United States of America here today and you can find a church and, and potentially a gas station as well across from that church. So families go into churches on Sunday and then they can come out, go to the gas station, fill up their gas tanks and fathers can go in to pay for those, pay for that gas gas that they put in their gas tanks and they can even reach across the counter and pick up a playboy magazine as well so come out of church go get gas and pick up your playboy magazine i'm not down with that i'm not down with the corruption and cover-up uh of our family uh of our family um communities and our country and 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 globally for families because family's been hurting a long time uh from local to global and i'm not talking about the wealthy, who, uh, the wealthy, stealthy ones who have benefited from these agendas. I'm not talking about the Rihannas of the world, and I'm bringing up her name because I'm trying to make a point here, and I'm going to make my point. So, um, my point is this. I'm on social media platform. I'm an adult, and you're an adult, and I'm shouting out to my Uncle Ricky, Ricky Figueroa, and I'm shouting out to his sister, Lisa Guz Guzman, Roman. Okay, I'm shouting out to these people because uh, what I want to say, and my brother Mark Figaro too, because you jumped in on it too, Mark, and I saw your comment as well. So, I have a very big, beautiful family, everyone, and like I said, our family was born and baptized in the family disease of alcoholism, and what I want to say about that, when you have a family tree that uh, that has issues of alcoholism, you, in the contents of that family tree, you're going to have issues. Issues of domestic violence, issues of divorces, issues of children. You know, my grandfather had 38 kids. Issues of children being separated and placed in orphanages across the country, which the pedophile Catholic churches made arrangements for a long time ago to divide and conquer uh, mainly people of color's uh, families. And uh, yes, I'm talking about Spanish people. Yes, I'm talking about black people. And yes, I'm talking about especially and specifically indigenous tribal people as well. So the Catholic churches had hidden agendas like the naughty Illuminati, school, skull and bones, you know, the people like George Bush Sr. and Jr., they were skull and bones, naughty Illuminati guys. So Holly Weird is very much an Illuminati um, hot point, if you will, for the global world and the, its people of uh, its global population of people. So my point that I'm trying to get at is he, is here today. I'm Anna Anders. I'm a niece to Ricky Figueroa, and I'm related to Lisa Guzman Roman because she's Ricky's uh, sister. Um, for for me, I have not never had a relationship with her, and don't intend to either because it just never manifested, and I have no desire to have a relationship with her. But beyond those words, what I want to say is this is an individual who goes to church on Sunday who sings, who works for our political government in, in corrupt Illuminati Cleveland, Ohio. Um, and I know it's all corrupt because, see, they had Ariel Castro's license plate number within 48 hours of Gina's abduction. Our family story on my mom's side of the family tree, um, the Cleveland abduction story should really be called the Cleveland obstruction story, okay? Because you obstructed justice. And it's not the Just Us Club, it's everyone's club. And when I say everyone, I'm talking about all families from local to global. So now I'm going to make my point about this video. My uncle made a public post on July 3rd which was Friday, and it came across my news feed. And it was a picture of Rihanna wearing a very sheer, I don't know if you can see through this blouse, but she was wearing a very sheer blouse. Had no, no bra, nothing underneath it, and it was just her breast with her nipples poking through the, uh, the picture. And I have to tell you, this uncle has a pattern on Facebook, uh, social media, of posting women all the time in some so very um, provocative uh, situations and um, pornographic situations and I've made my comments of course over the course of history with my relationship with him on Facebook I'm not it's not okay 
It's not okay, and I'm not okay with it. Because it's another form of exploiting women sexually. It's another form of feeding into the sexual dysfunction and pornography and pedophileness of this nation. So it fits right in with Hollyweird today, 2020. It fits right in with, um, how do I say this, the Weinsteins, the Epsteins, the Ariel Castro types of the uh, of our world, if you will. And I'm not, I'm not going to approve in a, a post like that. I'm a grandmother of seven. I'm a mother to three adult children. I would never approve of that on or off social media for any of my boys or grown men, referring to my son, uh, to post shit like that. So, and I also, just as a regular woman on the planet, uh, lady on the planet here, with some values and beliefs in tow for herself, for her family, and for her community, and for her country, and for her world as well, would never approve that shit. So, not publicly. You need to, if you need to post stuff like that, maybe form a private group for the guys that want to get in on it. You know what I'm saying? But what men, what ended up manifesting on that post is that all my uncle's perverted friends, you know, like goes with like, like goes with like, birds of a feather flock together. So, and it's dysfunctional. Um, and there's, you know, it's, they all come from the drinking arena, the local corner bar and that kind of stuff. And I'm sorry, this kind of shit is not what's going to save this nation today. Looking at nipples on Facebook and promoting nipples on Facebook only promotes more perversion and diversion and distraction games for this nation. So someone even posted in the contents of that, I think it was Mario, I don't know what his last name is, but he even posted, we have more serious things to worry about in this world, and you're damn straight. You're damn straight that we do. But in the meantime, when this grandmother's out and about, even if I'm in public, and um, someone is dressed like that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if, if, if they come across my path, you're putting it in my face, I'm going to vocalize how what I think and how I feel about that. It's not good. It is not good for the hood, and it ain't good for the suburbs either. So, because it divides and conquers our families into perversion and diversion, like I said. So, um, I don't know how long this video is, you know, but I got to tell you, it was so insulting because Lisa Guzman came on, okay, and made her comment for her brother, Christian sister, Lisa Guzman, came on and said, ended her comment, her long, lengthy comment with, don't hate, love, don't hate. Hey, sister, I love everyone, and I especially love the truth. And the truth is, you don't have permission, you do not have my permission to tell me what I think, how I feel, and, uh, and for me to, to bend my mind to give approval to some pornography. I'm not a fake woman with a fake spirituality in tow here, sister. And I don't care how much money Rihanna makes, okay? Prostitutes make a lot of money, okay? I'm not going to be paid or swayed. My values and beliefs will not be paid and swayed by this corrupt world with its corrupt agendas. I will not accept the unacceptable from no one. And Marky, you're my brother who's supposed to be practicing a spiritual um, program for himself as well. You didn't have your sisters back in this video, or I'm sorry, not in this video, but in the post on social media, fake book. You ain't, and you ain't never had my back as of recently. And you're not going to, because you know what? You're misled and misfed with the indoctr the over indoctrination of Holly Weird and it's pedophile, porno pornographic, uh, entertainers that get paid to do this shit. So back to Rihanna. She wore that sultry blouse because perhaps her handler made her wear it. Entertainers are paid by contracts and by their handlers. And that's how Holly Weird works, by the Nazi Illuminati ones. And I don't need nobody to tell me that it ain't so. Done my homework, been there, done that, and I ain't going to back to Disneyland. I don't need the, the uh, pedophile distraction games anymore. They've been busted. The Weinsteins got busted. Epstein got busted. His girlfriend just got arrested. Somebody's doing some kind of homework. Thank God for that one. Thank God for that one so very much. Perhaps they are cleaning up the deep state and the deep naughty Illuminati uh, agendas, if you will, from Holly Weird da right down to your local politics. And yes, I'm talking about corrupt Cleveland too, Lisa Guzman Roman who covered up 
the fact that they had Ariel Castro Castro's uh, license plate number and pretended to look for Gina for how many years? How many years on our family watch? Don't hand me your bullshit, okay? Because I ain't taking it here today. Not this lady. So, but what I will take, if any of you got genuine truth for me, give it to me because I want it. But to fix our family dysfunction, hit the rooms of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. Hit the rooms of Al-Anon if you want to. Hit the rooms of Codependent Anonymous if you need to. Hit any room of recovery, 12-step recovery that you need. If they have Pornography Anonymous, I don't know, or Pedophile Anonymous. But I'm not doing it. Um, I'm not going to join in and give you my stamp of approval on social media when you make a po post that I don't agree with. I'm going to verbalize and vocalize with my real eyes the real and the real realization of the real lies that's manifesting. So no, you won't get my approval, and I don't give a shit who it is. And P.S. By the way, Rihanna also sang the song "Shine Bright Like a Diamond." Okay, let's talk about those diamond mines. Let's talk about what her handlers had her sing, shine bright like a diamond. Because she want, they wanted her to promote the diamond agenda, the blood diamond agendas at that. So the diamond mines in Africa today, they belong to the Africans. They belong to the Africans. They don't belong to the people that own Holly Weird and who did 9-11-01. Okay, no. My no means no all the way. Half measures avails me nothing. So I'm going to stand up. I will not. I'm going to stand up in my values and my belief system here in tow. I'm humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube channel and on this social media platform. And I think I've said enough. So no, 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 no. Not across my news feed. And Uncle Ricky, you did me a favor unfriending me because I can't stand your pervertedness of needing to post uh, women that are constantly standing bare ass naked on your news on on your my news feed from your uh, I don't know perverted post you know it's just sickening you're a grown man man and you're married and you belong to a family tree system act like you're a grown man please and thank you and bring something to the party of life other than the dysfunction that's been embedded in our family tree for how long now. How many generations are we talking about? So it's not just my father, Ricky. It's also your father, and it's also your own behavior. Behaviors, I should say, with an S at the end. Because, see, women do not need to be exploited with their private body parts hanging out on your Facebook wall. What's that really about? What's your real motivations? Okay? Please and thank you. And shame on the people that followed you onto that sick post, including your sister, who couldn't stand up for women in general because she wants to go along she wants to go along with the pleasing of the naughty Illuminati agendas. But I know how that works because she's employed by them as well. And so, you know, attention seeking people, they'll do anything to sell out. That's why she referred to her closing comment as, Well, Rihanna is laughing all the way to the bank. And this is your sister who shows up in church on Sunday? Uh uh. That is not a Christian. That is, that needs to be looked at, and it doesn't need to be looked at by me. So, just some food for thought, some spiritual food for thought. I'm humbly Anna Anders here on the YouTube channel. Please do not mess with me. Please and thank you. Have a wonderful day, everybody. God bless you, and may your family have genuine healing recovery in the contents of your family uh, sacred tree. And may you rid your family tree of any family tree and its history of any corruption, cover up, and unhealed issues. Get out the tissues, folks, because um, it's true. Families have issues, okay? So, and I know that because I can see it plainly with my bad eyes. I can still see it plainly here today playing out, and I know it. So, our family still has alcoholism very much alive and well and living here today that very much is very harmful to our family, and I know firsthand, and I don't need to get into details about that specifically here because I'm living it out, and I ain't whining it out for people to know it, know, business, know the details of that business, but I know one thing, healing is happening in my family, and I'm so proud of my three adult children 
and the direction that their lives are he heading into in terms of healing. So thank you, God, for that one. Thank you, God, for my soul, sacred seven grandchildren. And thank you, God, for this so beautiful lady that's willing to stand up to say, no, no more. No more for our children to see these sick, pedophile, pornographic agendas to be poured out in front of their faces. Fuck that shit and take some of this with you when you leave, okay? And don't let the door hit you in the ass. I gotta go. There's more work to be done. Please and thank you. Have a wonderful day, guys. And grow up, people. Grow up instead of throwing up with your, <laughs> with Holly Weirds, pornographic, sick agendas right in the forefront of our daily faces and lives, family lives, on Facebook social media platform. No way. Goodbye.